so in this video now we'll try to learn new topic that will try to create new user okay with read only access where user cannot do delete or uh, drop or update any other rotation except from that reading data from db or we can do that selected db access only we wanted to provide with read only or without read only so those things now we'll try to learn in this video how to create and we'll try to test that now i will go to sql server okay so what i need to do i have logged into my sql server and now inside this one you can see that security inside this login and now if you click right click on this one and new login i will create so i will keep that name as test for read only okay and now i will create sql authentication and you can do whatever you want Windows also it will work. So I will put that, I will provide that name as something. Okay. That policy expire and all those things. If you really need it, you can do it. And one more thing I wanted to just tell you to focus here. See here, if I create that with master, it will only whenever I will log in, it by default here open that master DB. This one I will leave as it is, and I will so when I will change this one, how it's going to work. If you go to server role, it need to be public always. We have to focus on user mapping basically. Okay. So you can see it's by default DB owner. So I can remove this one, but before removing, we need to select that from which DB I wanted to buy. So I will go with SQL interview. I put that. Okay. And then I will go and put that DB reader only. Nothing apart from this. I don't want it to allow him any other access. Okay. So I put that. Okay. So now it's got created. Okay. So now I will disconnect this one and I will try to connect. So now I put that SQL authentication. I will put that SQL. And I think I will given that name as test. Read only. And then password. I hope so. I have given correct one. So now I got connected. So now you can see when I uh, open new query windows, I'm getting by default master. So this one I will tell because there we have selected that. So now if I go and try to go in SQL interview and now I wanted to create one table. So I will put that create table, table name. Okay. And I will put that ID and end just for the testing purpose and now when we'll try to execute you can see that we are getting that error that permission denied okay so we don't have permission to create that table so in this way we can create that user with read only and now if you wanted to drop also update all those things will not going to work and now if i go to here suppose i change that so you can see here now database sql tutorial is not x and reason behind, I have not allowed this user to apart from any other uh, DB, okay? Only access I have given him for this one, okay? So now what I can do, I can close this, okay? And whenever you do any time changes, you have to always open that new query windows. Okay? And I will disconnect and I will log in with that windows authentication where I have full access rights so now i will go it here and if i go here and double click on this one so you can see here i have given by default master db now if i give that uh, sql interview and if i come to user mapping i've given sql interview now this time i give that sql tutorial as well and here also i need to give that Suppose if I don't wanted to put it here, uh, read only, okay. I give as public and if I do, okay. Now it's got created. I will disconnect this and I will connect it back with that same and same password. So now you can see now by default, it's came as SQL interview. So I will again put that create table, TBL one. And then 
ID sorry, ID hint. Okay. So now we are getting that permission because we have provided only read only for this. And now if I go and select SQL tutorial, see we are able to select. Last time we are not able to do because we have given for only one. Now this time if I try to execute this one. Okay. Permission denied for this one. Okay, so now we can go ahead and see why like this one. And I will explain you reason why. Okay, test read only. Because it's I logged in with uh, limited access. So it's showing like this. So now if you go. Okay, so it's not allowing me now here. So what I can do, I need to log out and then log in. But before that, I can show you one more thing. Here also we have that security, then user, okay. And you can open this one easily. So you can see that here I have not provided any uh, access to him. So it's not working, okay. So now what I can do, I can disconnect with this. I can close this one. I will try to connect with Windows authentication and then I will do that changes for this one. Or not the key. I wanted to go for security or login and here. Okay. So what I can do, I will go ahead and I will provide it here as DB owner. Okay. And I will do OK. And now I will go disconnect and connect it back again. Read only and test. Now I will change to SQL tutorial and I will try to create table. With the ID it. Okay. And now see, we are able to create because this time we have provided all this correct permission. So if we can go and see in SQL tutorial, we have security user. And then this one, if we go and see that, that mapped, it's DB owner, okay? So we are able to do it. So in this way, you can go ahead and provide all those access with read only with different uh, DB access, which all DB access you wanted in every DB different uh, permission you can give. So I hope you like this video. Thank you.